you oftentimes see the subtle variations on u substitution. These are still u substitution integrals, but we need to approach them in a slightly different way. And the giveaway that you're going to use this approach is that they're often of the form somehow with an x up here and then an x plus some constant in down below, right? And there can be variations on that. Maybe it's a, a square root down here, or maybe it's some other power down in the denominator, but we're looking for an x in the numerator and an x plus something in the denominator. The problem here is that when we go to use our standard approach to u sub, we're looking for an f of u and then a u prime, it doesn't work, right? Because if we let our standard approach would be, let's let u be x minus four, but then du would need to be dx, and we would have this odd x hanging out up here. Right, so that doesn't work. So it initially seems like it's not going to work, but with a slight modification, it still does work. Let's go ahead with our u as x minus four. So let's let u be x minus four. And then as we discussed, du is then dx, right, taking the derivative of everything. Well, we still have this x to think about up here, but look, we can solve this u here for x. So x is then u plus four. And then look what happens to our integral. This becomes the integral of u plus four over square root of u du. And now we have something we can work with, right? As long as there's a single variable down here in the denominator, we're okay. The problem is when we had a variable minus some constant that we had troubles. But now look, we can split this integral up the integral of u over rad u plus the integral of four over rad u, um, du on both of these, right? And then, well, the square root of u is u to the one half. So we can think of the first integral as u to the one minus one half plus four times the second integral we'll write as u to the negative one half. Keep forgetting my du's, du, du. Okay, so really we're looking at, well, this is u to the one half up here in the first integral. So when we integrate that, we use the power rule. So that's gonna be u to the three halves, adding one to one half, and then we multiply by the reciprocal out front, two thirds, plus four times, now we're adding one to negative one half, so that gives us u to the one half, and now multiply by the reciprocal, so times two, two over one, which gives us eight essentially. So now we're in business, two thirds u to the three halves plus eight rad u, we'll say. We'll change the one half back to rad. And finally, we back substitute, remembering that u is actually x minus four. And I just realized I forgot my plus c. So easy to forget that plus c. And our integral is finally two-thirds times x minus four to the three-halves plus eight square root of x minus four plus c. So this is a very useful method. The hardest part is realizing that you need to use it. So right now we have it in context, so we see it and we're like, oh yeah, we use that special u variation trick but when you see this out of context, it's really hard to recognize that this is the trick you do. And that's kind of the downside to it. Let's try part B. We have the integral of x over x minus two, dx. So see if you can pull this off. Try using the same method, this variation on u substitution, to evaluate this integral, pause the video, and then we'll compare notes. Okay, the red flag that we're going to use a special variation on u substitution is that we have an x up top and then an x plus or minus something down in the denominator. Okay, so we'll choose our denominator to be u, so let's let u be x minus two, then du equals dx. Okay, so that's good. And then we need to do one more thing here. We need to find something for x. So let's use u equals x minus two solve this for x, we get x equals u plus two. Plug that in for x. All right, so now we have a nice new integral here. 
the integral of u plus 2 over u du. And this we can evaluate. All right, let's break that up. u over u, which is 1, plus 2 over u. This is all du. All right, well, the integral of 1 is u plus 2 is a constant, and then the integral of 1 over u is natural log absolute value of u plus c. But u is x minus 2. All right, so back in we go. Do our back substitution. We have x minus 2 plus 2 natural log x minus 2 plus c. And believe it or not, this is not actually the best possible answer. Can you spot why? It's because this minus 2 business is a constant itself, so that can be folded in with this plus c constant. Because whatever that constant c is, c minus 2 is still a constant. And we'll just use the same dummy variable c for our constant. So this gives our even better answer as x plus 2 natural log absolute value of x minus 2 plus c. We just use C again and again for whatever the constant is. Even though now it's C plus 2, we'll still call that C.